Hi, I'm at TU Automotive Europe 2016, and today I'm joined by Michael Blank. He's with Cisco Jasper, and he's a senior director of Connected Car. Hi, Mike. Hi, Bob. Thanks for joining me. Um, now, we know now with connectivity, the car is part of the Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. But how important will it become compared to, say, something like a smartphone? Well, I, I think it's going to be tremendous. I think it's going to have um, not just a, an impact on people, but an impact on society. Um, you know, that the car is what we see now, you know, in its early phases of connectivity. And, and what you're seeing now are, you know, things like telematic services and, and infotainment, things for entertainment maybe for the for consumers and drivers and passengers. But what you're what you're seeing now is the, is the advent of, of what this connectivity means in terms of you know bringing autonomous vehicles, bringing really new models of transportation um, to light. So things like ride sharing, um, things like rides on demand, all those things are going to be enabled, and it takes a connected vehicle to do that. And again, I think you're just seeing the beginning of that now. But is our infrastructure really up for full connectivity in as much as the coverage, the GPS signals, sat satellite nav signals um, can be very patchy in certain parts of the world. Sure. And sometimes in very heavily built up parts of the world. Um, what, what plans do we have to put in place to solve this problem? Well, I, you know, I don't think there's a, it, it's a great question. I don't think there's any one thing that fixes it, right? When you, when you talk about vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to vehicle connectivity, there are things like DSRC, you talk about vehicle to infrastructure, there's other short range communications, there's cellular, there's satellite. Um, I don't think any one particular medium is going to solve all of this. I think it's going to be in conjunction. And I really think they're each going to have different impacts. Um, you know, you can do certain things talking to the infrastructure that are maybe very local. Um, and maybe certain things talking to maybe the cellular network that are going to look more at logistics and traffic flow and things like that. Um, so I think each, each medium has a complementary part to play in the ecosystem. But who is going to fund this? Because this well, is... <laughs> yeah, the, well, now the money question, that's the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, that's, that's another good question. You know, I think from a cellular standpoint, you know, I think the, the, um, the, the network providers, you know, that I talk to are, they're getting ready for their 5G investments, and I think there's going to be um, a, a large 5G play in this. Um, but I think on the, um, on the infrastructure side, um, that's going to be much more, I think regulation's going to play into that. I think some incentives um, from local or federal governments are going to have to play into that. And I think you're going to see cities invest in that to help in things like improving uh, transportation in, in crowded cities, you know, some of these mega cities that we have that have to invest in infrastructure like this to help ease um, transportation and commerce in the city.